Hello everyone, this is Adam from Newfeed.com and I'm going to show you how to get all the collectibles in Halo 3 Master Chief Collection Anniversary Edition. Wow, that was a mouthful. Anyway, Sierra 117, this is the first time you engage the Covenant. You're going to come to the upper right hand corner and grab the skull. This is the first skull. And unlike Halo 2, you do not have to play this on Legendary. You can play this on normal or higher and still get the skulls. Each skull is worth 5 gamma score and when you get all the skulls, you get a completion achievement. Same thing for the terminals. Anyway, this is later on in Sierra 117. After you rescue Johnson, you're going to come to this area right here. Also, a side note, you cannot get these skulls if you try and start the stage midpoint. So you have to play through the entire stage in order to unlock the skull, or it won't be there. Here's the next skull, blind. Alright, once you get that skull, wait for the achievement. Well, I've been waiting for a while because, again, if you watched my Halo 2 video, I've been experiencing a lot of achievement oddities. So, I was waiting for a long time and just decided to say fuck it and jump onto the Pelican and take the skull with me. Alright, this Motion is Crow's Nest, Black Eye Skull. Now, right at the beginning, you're gonna hop on to these grates. It's Any very important you walking? fail right there, because if you don't, it won't be there. But anyway, again, that's an important step to fail. You're gonna jump Any up birds, here like onto out? these steel burners. Tell everything else to scatter. Go up onto this pipe, aye, aye. and there's the skull waiting for you. Pelicans take extra Grab it, and we move on to the next us. one. Or you can take you it on, with sir. you and try it alongside the company. Get those turrets up! Watch your fields of fire! Alright, next skull of front birthday party. This is later on in Crow's Nest. When you see all the drones flying through the vents, before you go meet up with the Arbiter, just crouch and keep pushing back when you drop down. Hold the back on the movement triggers, and you should land into this ventilation staff and grab the skull. Alright, Sabo Highway, the next skull. After you destroy this barricade, this is where all the drones start to flood out after you destroy this one, and the first time you get onto the highway. On the left side, there's going to be a small opening. You jump down, I'm about to see it right here. There it is, that small opening right there. Tough Flex Skull is down here. Just parkour yourself over to the other side of this leg. Crouch jump, crouch jump. And over there on that ledge, there is going to be the Tough Flex Skull. Let's grab that. And there we go, an achievement, finally. That was one of the unique times that I actually got an achievement. Atmospheric disturbance is intensifying the above the artifact the scrum, cat skull. Now you can use this with a uh, ghost or one of those carrier warthog. Note to self, do not destroy that uh, anti-air raid. If you destroy it, the skull will disappear. So just come over here, crouch jump, keep failing, keep killing these ghosts. I'm just trying to level it out so I can get up there. And there it is, the skull. Remember, do not destroy the anti-air wraith, or it will disappear. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Alright, next skull, Floodgate. It's the Fog Skull. The right at the beginning, on the upper building, there's going to be a flood going to the skull. All you have to do is shoot it down. The first time, you're going to see what can go we wrong with the skull. This city. You can either throw it, roll across the, the roof, planet. or you can shoot him right here like I'm about to do. Make your way to the crash and he drops it on the roof. There it is. The great thing about this, you can just restart and try again. We either destroy this city, and this risk time, I'm going to shoot him and the skull's going to drop. Remember to keep your eyes on it because it can drop in very, very unmiliated of places and the last thing you want to do is lose track of it and have to start again. Well, it's not so bad to start again, it's right there. Anyway, there it is, the box skull. Alright, the arc, this is the first terminal. Now, I don't know exactly what uh, grants you access to the completion of this achievement for this uh, version of Halo 3. Because I remember in the original Halo 3, a lot of people had trouble, and the way I unlocked the achievement is by going through the entire campaign, starting with the arc till the end, 
while accessing all the terminals. Also, when you access the terminals, click A repeatedly until you reach the end of the first message. Wait on that screen till the terminal turns red. It will navigate to another screen. Press A continuously until the final message reads fragment ends. If you do not see fragment ends, it will not count. You'll get the achievement, but it won't count towards the completion of achievement. So make sure you see fragment ends. Each terminal only makes this transition once. So just wait for it, like it's doing right now, by example. And as you can read down there, it says fragment ends. Just do that for every single terminal. And I recommend that you play through the rest of the campaign in order to unlock the terminal completion achievement. Now this is the arc again, Famine Skull. This is when you have to meet Johnson's Pelican to the LZ zone. If you're not good at grenade jumping, this is my alternative. Grab a chopper come up here and simply park it right by the skull which is the last flying buttress I believe this one is called I'm not really sure again I'm not an art historian or an architect sorry but anyway just park the chomper right here you can use a ghost or any other vehicle you can find and simply use it to jump up there that's me failing to jump up there and me walking very slowly to walk uh, get to the chopper. Yeah, I also watch a nigger reference. Fantastic movie if you haven't seen it yet. Just jumping up there. This is me failing. Like saying, oh yeah, it's up there. And up here. I can really, I really hate the person who put all these grenade jumps in this game. It is fucking annoying. Especially in Halo Con Halo CE. You already know how much I hate grenade jumping if you watched my Halo 2 collect this video, which you should. But anyway, jump up here. Jump here, and there it is. Much easier than grenade jumping. And there's the achievement. Alright, Arc Terminal 2. This is later on in the chapter when 343 starts opening doors for you. He opens the main hallway with the Covenant with Garden. This is the second door so you can lock the bridge so the rest of your UNSC forces can travel to the latter part of the arc. Once you open the bridge, turn around and it will also unlock the terminal. And just like I told you before, press A repeatedly, wait for the red screen to come, then wait until this fragment ends. Now for the cowbell skull, you're going to want to grab one of these grab lifts right here. This is where you fight the scarab inside that building. You're going to walk all the way up here, you know, kill, butcher everyone here. Like I'm doing right now. Head down here to these ramps. After you finish killing everyone. And this is where you get the skull. This is me pausing for a while because I had to do something. It's on top right there. This is where the grab lift comes in handy. Pretty sure this thing is only used for uh, getting collectibles. I've rarely oh, seen it used in actual multiplayer. So this is me just saying, okay, which one is it in? And just focusing. Checkpoint. The great thing if you fail, just reset checkpoint and you automatically try again. There we go. Cowbell skull. Fantastic. Alright, next skull, Terminal 3 in the arc. This is when we're walking down the hallway. Instead of going towards the skull, we're gonna make a complete 180 and go through this door. And there's the next terminal. Just follow the same instructions. Wait for it to make the transition to the next screen and keep clicking A until you see fragment ends. Okay, this is later on. This is the Covenant, terminal number 4. This is story progression. You're gonna come to this building. You're gonna have to shut down the defenses in order to get access to the building of the yard. Just basically kill everyone here. This is me doing a very good job of doing that. Speed it up so you don't have to turn your skills. That's right, just murder everyone. Alright, once you're up here. You're going to see that elevator, instead of taking it, you're going to jump to the other side, 
and the terminal will show itself right here. I'm in the Covenant, we're gonna gain access to the Hornets, and we're gonna go grab the Thunderstorm Skull. We're gonna head into the building that the Arbiter and his elites cleared out, but unfortunately he missed the Skull, so now we have to grab it for him. Who knew, who knew elites were so lazy? But anyway, fly over here, the Arbiter's gonna tell us, no, we already cleared it, no need to do it, then why the hell did you forget the Skull, man? Like it could be is someone's is lost widow or a hero we don't know about. I mean, his eyes may... his eyes aren't hollowed out, but, you know, it's still important to grab the skull. And he has a gold tooth, doesn't he? I think that's the uh, right frame. Not really sure. Whatever. Alright, that same building, it also houses terminal number 5. I'm gonna do a little flying again. Just reset checkpoint and come back, or well, you know, be a rebel and continue on from the skull. So anyway, we're gonna land here. And clean up Arbiter's messes again. Look, he killed a lot of them. And just grab the next terminal. He did leave one of his fellow elites back there. I mean, come on, man. Take the body. Bury it. Kind of disgraceful that you just leave the body there. Alright, this is later on. Uh, terminal number six. This is one of the uh, buildings we have to come in because Johnson failed to clear it. You know, when I first played Halo 3, I knew Johnson was pretty failed. I mean, come on. Pretty obvious to me. Failed to actually Humans, on the other hand, well, they lose more battles than they win. Anyway, we're gonna continue forward, uh, commit mass and genocide, and we can shoot the same thing as the last building. Well, not the last one, the last, last one. You're gonna come to this elevator, instead of taking it, and the cross, and the terminal's gonna show you have no time There to we waste. go, terminal number six. Alright, this is one of the fuck you skulls. This is our one, I would have been your daddy skull. Now basically just have to follow the order 46, 54, 53, 4 and that means just follow, uh, jump through the rings in that order. The first one being from the entrance and the last one being next to uh, Regret's body. If you do it cor like, uh, correctly the rings will start shining. Also you do this after you kill Regret not before. If you do it before it will not activate. Afterwards it will activate. Once done, go back to the bridge where you originally killed Regret, and the skull will be right there. It's a lot easier than the Halo 2 I, I could, would have been your daddy skull. That one was a big, huge... I wanted to murder someone's skull. Much preferred uh, jumping through rings. But anyway, just head through here. Through here, and go grab the skull. To be honest, the skull is actually pretty interesting. I've heard a lot of very funny dialogue from it. One of the brutes said, he was my lover. And another human, I remember him stating, if you keep looking at me, you might as well kiss. Alright, one of the most infamous levels of the Halo franchise, Cortana. This is where we're gonna get the Tilt Skull. Now, in this room, it's you're gonna leap down into this room and find a bunch of pure form blood. Pretty easy to uh, locate. But anyway, once you walk into here, this is also the same room we get the terminal, and that's a little easier to make a reference to. But you're gonna jump onto this uh, little edge, you're gonna leap onto these platforms, and hop into that tentacle. Be careful and walk to the edge, because you can bump your head into that and fall down. But once you get up here, leap onto the tentacle, and right beside all these bones and puke is the next skull, the tilt skull. Why all these skulls look the same, I do not know. It must be the same person with multiple heads, like a Hydra. Anyway, this is the hole I was talking about. You're gonna jump down. This is where you're gonna get Cortano's terminal. A lot of people thought that you should, you didn't need this terminal when you get the achievements, or you do. 
but unlike the other terminals, you don't have to click A or anything, you just have to access it right What's here. And Cortana will speak more about her it rapid the fitness. Fault. I wanted to make you strong. Again, this is also the same when we get the tilt score, so you can get both at the same time. And that leap downstairs shows you a better reference of what this room looks like and where it is. This is me just quitting. Because, you know, I really hate that stage and saying, fuck it, I don't like you, Cortana, anyway. I mean, you abandoned the hero reach. Kind of a douche move. Anyway, this is the final level, Halo. Final terminal. Once you get it, you should unlock it. Again, like I said in the beginning when we were collecting these terminals, I highly recommend that you do this in one go. Because in the original Halo, that's how you unlock the Marathon Man achievement. At least that's how I unlocked it. I used to do it smart. Uh, I did it separately, then unlock. Did it all at once, then it unlocked. So I don't know if it's different, but I didn't take it. I didn't take any chances. Where are you going? Anyway, you're gonna follow this path, come into this very well-known area, especially if you Wait, played ha the that? original Halo. You went through a lot of hallways that looked like this. Anyway, this is the final terminal. Once you get it, you should get the achievement. Now, the final skull, Halo Mythic Skull. Very easy to get. Just follow the path into the secret cave, grab it, and that's it. Once you get that, you should get the completion. Uh, the Witch Doctor their achievement. I believe that's what it's called. Sorry. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel, watch my other videos, read my review, and hopefully I'll have more videos on Halo the Master Chief Collection. Thank you for watching and good luck.